So we're already 20 people missing right now at the check-in, but it's a time about to start because then we, we're already a little bit late. Um, yeah, welcome to Berlin. Um, great that you make it over here. Just a short introduction. My name is Bernd Ag. Um, sounds a little bit stupid in English. Um, I'm one of the co-founders of the Asynca project, and my daily business usually takes place at NetWays. You can find me on Twitter using GetHash if you want to. If you would like to tweet about the camp, it would be nice if you use that hashtag. Asynca camp, of course. So, just a quick poll. Somebody here is not speaking German. Okay, then it absolutely makes sense if you listen to my verse, English. Um, who is not using Isinga right now and is considering migrating to Isinga? Okay, then we're targeting you folks the whole day. <laughs> okay, thanks. We took the pictures, so you're all set. Thank you. Um, no, we, we have the pictures already. Um, so before we start, I would like to thank our sponsors. Um, the gold sponsors are Z and Adways. We are sponsoring it, of course. Thanks to Thomas Gren and Bert Phoenix. I would also like to note that we have a raffle in the last coffee break downstairs, where the, the coffee break and the lunch break area is. And uh, Thomas Gren has uh, a low energy server, a SSD, and a, and a bag. So please put your business cards in the box, and in the last coffee break, you can hopefully win something. Um, and also thanks to Open Source Infrastructure for sponsoring the camp. So the schedule for today, you noticed we're already late. Um, we have usually, we have two talks and then we have a break. Um, it's very important that you have time to, to talk to us. So a couple of Isinga team members all around, you can hopefully find us with a hoodie. If you have any questions then during the breaks, take the chance, grab us and, and ask whatever you have in mind. Otherwise, the program is a single track, so it should be easy to find your way back here. Um, after the break, you hear a signal, come back, and then we guide you through the day. Especially thanks to our speakers from the Isinga, but especially to the speakers not from the Isinga project. Um, thanks for making that camp um, possible and coming over. Thanks to the speakers. Um, as a community project, we're always looking for new people to help us. Means if you can help us in any way, doing community work, doing development, I would not say in your favorite language, but perhaps in a language we use, documentation, whatever. So if you have time and if you are willing to help us in our project, it would be great. You can help with anything, mostly. Um, we have a couple of users and, and, and customers we have. Our biggest problem is that we don't know most of them. So these are the users, which just a couple of them, who, who gave us some information about them. But if you're using Isinga and if you would like to, to share it with us, there's, um, there's something, a, a web form on the website to let us know. It was, it was help us for, of course, marketing purpose to say the project is used by company ABC. Um, and it was good for us to get some feedback, to, to figure out what you need, what you would like to see in Isinga in the next version, because it's a community-driven project. So we have some ideas in mind what we would like to do, but it would absolutely interest it to, to get feedback from you. Um, and this is what it's all about. So really, please do it. I have that in, in every conference, every talk, say, please submit. Usually we get perhaps one or two after the conference. So please do it. Fill in the form, you don't have to buy anything, you don't get a fridge or something else. Just give us your information. Um, a personal thing, um, Achim, is he here or is he downstairs? He's, in, he's downstairs already. We, we worked on a, on a software application platform named NVS. Um, we already launched our beta last year in October but um, today we, we take it to a production level. What it is, it's, it's a platform where you can just start various open source tools in a software as a service manner. Um, and what's there, we have an, a pre-configured Isinga with Graphite as a master setup where you have everything you need for an Isinga master. Um, you, can, you can use it to, to connect to your clients using the agent. 
but you can also have a chance to uh, initiate a, a satellite. Um, a single satellite with various perspectives, so we have different regions where you can start it up and probably get an information how your services work um, from external sites, so from West Coast, from Asia, of course from New Europe. Um, connect them to your local Isinga master installation. Achim, he's now standing over there. He will be in the lunch and coffee breaks downstairs and show you everything about it. Um, you can also find it on um, NWS Netways DE. Please don't use it everybody at once because then the wireless will break, the wireless network will break down. But have a look on it and the best you can do, ask Achim. Um, you can see then in, in production how it works and how you can combine it um, with your localized Singer installation. A little bit about the product. I don't have so much technical aspects, um, but something I would like to, um, to show you is that if you're using Chef or Puppet, um, we reworked the Puppet module completely. So there were various Puppet modules out there on GitHub and everywhere else, and, and we have a complete new one. Um, the name says it all, Puppet I think a rewrite. So check this out. We also have a Chef cookbook. Um, if you're using Chef, use, use this one. If you use Grafana, um, we have uh, two new dashboards for Graphite and Influx DB. So they are on the dashboard side. Um, from grafana.net dashboards, you can find them. You can select iSync as a data source, and depending on what you use, Graphite or Influx data, you can use them to integrate your data. Also, Michael's favorite spare time project um, is the dashing. Somebody never saw that? Okay, a couple of, okay, that's cool. We have it in, in, in our background box for, a, I would say, for a couple of years now. Um, it's very nice to, to use it in your office on a screen, um, give you some information. You can also customize it, of course, to your needs. Um, you can play with it in the background box or just download it here um, on GitHub. Something we're coming up with, you can already find it, is integration to Elastic Beats. So Blarem is working on the project now. Um, we don't have a release date yet, but it will be come out in the next month. You have an integration to get your beat information, directly send it to Elastic and get your metrics for MySinger. Um, then later on in Kibana or your favorite tool. Something we are working right now, and I don't have so much details here in my presentation because it will probably have too many discussions on that, but you can ask us. We are currently working on a new data store implementation for Isinga 2. Um, we still have the, the old IDO, which we probably yeah, get as a result from forking Nagus um, at some point. Um, and it, it, it leads us to some performance issues and other things and, and probably doesn't fit our needs we have. And something that's going on right now is that we, ch we will probably come up with a new database model and also kind of an in-memory database to, to scale out, to get better reporting. And this is something hopefully we ship through the year. So we already promised some people that we will ship it, so we have to do it um, in some way. And this is something we are working on. If you would like to know more about it, you can ask um, Eric or Thomas or Gunnar. They probably, hopefully, answer all your questions you have about them. So as a conclusion, that's probably our, our goal is that we don't want to reinvent the wheel again for all the things out there. Our goal is that we integrate well without the tools. So it means with everything you see, there are integrations available, something which is coming up very new. So last week, probably, we will have a better Docker integration for Docker Data Center. That's something we will work on in the next weeks. Um, and that's our goal, to, to integrate these. OK, before I finish here, I sent out this tweet last week. Um, and we have one. So Klaus Stegemann, is he here? A bottle of gin. <laughs> Perhaps it's a little bit empty. <laughs> no, it's not. It's, we refilled it. <laughs> Thank you, and enjoy your day. Thank you very much. <laughs>